Each day within the United States, there are over 1.2 million shipments of hazardous materials, or hazmat. A wide variety of flammables, corrosives, and toxic materials are packaged and transported by tank trucks, rail cars, aircraft, and container vessels. Hazardous materials account for over 28% of all freight tonnage shipped on our waterways each year. And there's over 2.3 million miles of gas and liquid pipeline that wind through our metropolitan, urban, and rural settings. According to the U.S. Department of Transportation, every year, over 3.1 billion tons of hazmat shipments travel through densely populated areas of our nation and through your jurisdictions. Most shipments arrive at their final destination safely and without incident. But incidents will occur and the time and place will be as unknown to you as the type of transport vehicle involved and the properties of the hazardous material it will be transporting. Your safe and swift corrective actions can limit or prevent harm to people, property, the environment, and yourself. Failure to respond correctly could be catastrophic. The Emergency Response Guidebook, or ERG, is your key resource for guidance to the safest approach and response in the initial phase of an incident where every minute can influence the outcome. This video presentation is for responders who are either unfamiliar with the ERG or are looking to learn more about the basics of using the guidebook. The video instruction will familiarize you with the contents of the ERG as well as how to navigate its pages. It's important to note that viewing this DVD is not a substitute for personal hands-on learning that will enable you to become proficient at accessing what you will need in an emergency. The ERG will help you interpret information about an unknown material, its potential behavior, and the appropriate actions to take in an emergency. It is your responsibility as a first responder to protect yourself and the public during the initial phase of an incident. Your knowledge of the guidebook before going into a hazmat incident can save lives. The Department of Transportation is responsible for the safe and secure transportation of hazardous materials. The ERG encapsulates all the hazard identification communication links that are required by law. It is the responsibility of the manufacturers, shippers, and transporters to use a system of labels, placards, markings, and shipping papers on all materials and transport vehicles. OSHA standards provide that the first line of hazard communication and responsibility begins with the producer of the product. All manufacturers must communicate the hazards of the product they create. Most often this information comes in the form of a materials safety data sheet. The manufacturer is obligated to ensure the safe management of the product for the duration of its existence, from cradle to grave. The shipper of the product is required to provide a shipping document based on Department of Transportation standards, an emergency response telephone number that is monitored at all times the hazardous material is in transportation, a hazard class or division number, a four-digit ID number, and a shipping name. And finally, the transporter is the steward for the safe movement of the material. They're required to provide you with the proper shipping paper, as well as to ensure that the transport vehicle displays the accurate placard for hazardous material. In some cases involving international intermodal containers, an orange panel for material identification may be present, with or without a placard. <laughs> 